welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a string pull. I already put down a black base and I just cut these lengths of knitting yarn. And I'm going to add my um, acrylic paints from IKEA on top of it in bands. Put it on a easy to clean piece of um, plastic. I saw this technique being done on uh, Facebook. I will put the put it up here. So it's not my idea, it got inspired by somebody else. So let's add the paint. This would be quick because you don't want your base to be dry, but you don't want to rush either. Maybe that wasn't that great of an idea <laughs> to do the green next to the orange. Well, too late for that now. Let's add some silver. Oh, that one's thick. best way. I think I'm just going to grab it. I'll just move it from side to side because I don't want the colors to mix. Probably need a little bit more paint. As you can see the back side isn't coated at all. Probably could have used a little bit thinner paint that would work a little bit easier. But I don't want it to go and run all over the place when I'm adding it to my base. Let's just push the paint into it a little bit more. As I said, using a little bit thinner paint would probably work better. Orange is looking pretty good. Yellow as well. I think we're ready. Uh, let's see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one up. Hopefully I get the same one on the other end. Pick it up straight. Like so, then put it on the canvas and pull it to the side. And up, like so, and get another one. the colors on the same height and pull it to the other side take it off grab another put that on that area move it over a little bit it up a little bit maybe like so top of it and let's do that on the other side as well kind of like it let's try and line it up there 
there you go. It's looking pretty 3D. Can't wait to see how it dries. I really like the effect. I might I'm like tempted to darken this up a little bit. So let me get a little bit more string. Put it down in the paint. Let's get it a little bit more saturated. So all the greens. See, that's why I use a little bit thicker paint because then it would stay in place better. Because getting the lines in the uh, the colors in the same areas makes it feel like it's one wavy piece of fabric, I guess. At least that's what it looks like to me, like a part of a flag. So my tip, just put some more paint on. Don't be as cheap as I am. Okay, that looks about right. Let's take it up. Hold it. Oh, that's looking pretty perfect, so... Let's follow the curve that's already there. Okay, I'm liking that. So let's see how this one dries. I'll show you the final result at the end. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone!